Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter while working with databases. Our viewer has run into a null pointer exception while running unit tests against a Postgres database using Unitils. Let's break down the details and see how we can resolve this problem together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In this video, we'll address a null pointer exception that occurs when running a unit test against a Postgres database using Unitils. Let's start by examining the error message. The error indicates that there is a problem with the transaction management in your test setup. Specifically, it seems that the transaction manager is encountering a null value during the rollback process. Next, let's review the configuration in your unitals.properties file. Ensure that the database connection details are correct and that the database is accessible. Additionally, verify that your test class is correctly annotated with at transactional and that the data source is properly initialized. This is crucial for managing transactions during tests. Finally, ensure that your fixture XML file is correctly formatted and that the dataset is being loaded properly before the test runs. This will help prevent any null values from being returned. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering a null pointer exception while running unit tests with Postgres and Unitils, it might be due to having two database implementations in your pom.xml without specified scopes. Spring can't determine which one to use, leading to the exception. For more guidance, check out the link provided for configuring a specific in-memory database for testing in Spring. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user mentions they can't comment due to low reputation, but shares a helpful link about rolling back transactions after tests. They note that while it doesn't use unitils, it aligns with the behavior you're seeking. The user suspects that the outdated nature of unitils could be causing your null pointer exception issue, and they recommend considering alternatives. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you've found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help? I'll see ya. Have a good one.